temperature. At the end of this session, you will be able to define temperature, define thermometer, measure the temperature using thermometer. You might have heard the term temperature many times in your day-to-day -day life. If it is a bright sunny day, people say the temperature is more or during winter if the weather is cold, people say the temperature is low. An ice cube is cold, the tap water is cool, coffee is warm, boiling water is hot. Cold, cool, warm and hot are the different temperature counts or attributes the environment or a body has. Depending upon the amount of heat present in an object, we can analyze whether the object is hot or cold. Let us perform the following activity. Take two empty vessels. Fill one vessel with ice cold water and the second one with hot water. Dip your left hand in cold water and your right hand in hot water. You will feel a difference in the sensation of heat in your hands. When you touch the hot water, you will feel hot because heat energy flows from the hot water to your hand. When you touch the ice cold water, you will feel cold because heat energy flows from your hand to the cold water. Therefore, temperature can be defined as the degree of hotness or coldness of a body. We can also say that the temperature is the quantity by which we can compare the hotness or coldness of a body or the environment. The instrument used to measure the temperature is called a thermometer and the scale most commonly used to measure the temperature is either Fahrenheit or Celsius. The Kelvin temperature scale is also used but mostly for scientific work. In the early years of the 18th century, Fahrenheit scale was invented by Gabriel Fahrenheit. He set the boiling point of water at 212 degree Fahrenheit and the freezing point at 32 degree Fahrenheit. These two points created the anchors for his scale. Later, in the same century, Celsius scale was discovered by Anders Celsius. Temperature on this scale is measured in degree Celsius. On this scale, the freezing temperature for water is considered to be 0 degree Celsius and the boiling temperature 100 degree Celsius at sea level. Freezing point and boiling point of water changes at higher altitudes. Therefore, 0 degree Celsius is equal to 32 degree Fahrenheit, 100 degree Celsius is equal to 212 degree Fahrenheit. The formula to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit is F is equal to 9 divided by 5 multiplied by C plus 32. The formula to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius is C is equal to 5 divided by 9 multiplied by F minus 32. This formula is used because the interval of 100 in degree Celsius is equal to an interval of 180 in Fahrenheit degree. That is, the ratio of C to F is 100 is to 180 or pi is to n. For example, to convert 100 degree Celsius to Fahrenheit, F is equal to 9 divided by 5 multiplied by C plus 32 is equivalent to 9 by 5 multiplied by 10 plus 32 is equal to 50 degree Fahrenheit. To convert 95 degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius, C is equal to 5 by 9 multiplied by F minus 32 is equal to 5 by 9 multiplied by 95 minus 32 is equal to 5 divided by 9 multiplied by 63 is equal to 35 degree Celsius. The bulb thermometer is the most commonly used glass thermometer. The bulb of this thermometer contains some type of fluid, generally mercury. 
the level of this fluid increases or drops according to the temperature it is subjected to. Let us perform the following activity. Take a thermometer and note down the reading at the normal room temperature. Now, place the thermometer in a glass of cold water for few seconds. Remove the thermometer from the water and note the readings. Finally, place the thermometer in, into a glass of hot water. Remove after few seconds and note the readings. Notice that the thermometer gives different readings depending on the temperature of the substance into which it is inserted. A thermometer in the garden shows how hot or cold the day is. A thermometer in the heater tells you when to turn it on and off and so on. A clinical thermometer is used to measure the temperature of a body, especially to check for fever.